The preacher man says it's the end of time And the Mississippi River she's a gold crime <laughs> The interest is up and the stock market's down And you're only getting loved if you go downtown That's right, that's right I'm oh, filling my girl up! I live back in the woods, you see A woman and the kids and the dog A woman, <laughs> my woman! This was for you, Dad Matter. <laughs> All right, guys, look, we're kind of a nutty. I know I haven't done a show in a while, but uh, let me get my disclaimer right quick. If you don't like what you see, what you hear, the topics, the language, whatever, my girl, the equipment, then my guy turned me off. Uh, oh, that burns like beer. I feel so good. Oh, I don't like being back on the wagon. But anyway, if you like what you see, what you hear, the topics, the language, the equipment, my girl. Uh, hey, I got you know, it's just, oh, I got to lick the rim, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, it's good Yeah, it's good. Oh, my God. That's so good. Yeah, she's good looking. R2 likes her, too. It's awesome. I just love this job. Shut up. I'm doing my intro. Anyway. Let's get this show on the road. Let's get this show on the road. Let's get this show on the road. Alright, anyway, we're, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do for this show, you know? And I'm being so Thank God r has got another one for me. Before we're going to do a little drinking, we're going to do a little hell raising, and you hear Hank playing in the background. Here's the deal, guys. Here's the deal. we got a lot of crap stirred up right now over this flag. Yeah, it's offensive. Alright, it's offensive to some. Here's the deal. My family fought on the South Side. Yeah, yeah. His name was T.B. Mullins. Yeah, yeah. Regiment 13 in Tennessee. Yeah, Tennessee Regiment. Yeah, not only did he survive the Battle of Chattanooga, but he had, uh, was it smallpox breakout or something in the units? He lost a lot. There was a lot of his unit lost. And now they merged with another unit. Yeah. He survived the Civil War. The bloodiest war this country's ever seen. We've lost more men in that war than any other war. But this flag's offensive. My family fought on that side. So I'm tired of hearing all the, it means racism. No, I believe that Obama signature, that little sunrise is red, white, blue, that he's trying to remake the flag and shit. That's a fence. I'd love to spit some bitch nothing that dude's eye. You know, uh, while all this was going on, the TPP went through through Congress. Yeah, the trade pact. Yeah, it went through. Without any of you narrow-minded motherfuckers, uh, notice. Yeah, so they, what's in this hand, blinds you to what's in this hand. Racism here. Let's slide that over the table through Congress and Senate. Yeah, think, motherfucker. Think. Oh, I got approached, by the way, a little good news, kind of weighing it out. Paranormal King Radio wants the old wolf, but I got to stop dropping the F-bomb. I, you know, I can't promise anything. <laughs> it is a YouTube video. I do give my disclaimer, and uh, I don't know what to tell you, brother. It, it, it is what it is. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Me, me and R2, we're just... Yeah, right. Me and R2, we're going to do what we want to do. And uh, take us or leave us, I guess. I'll do what I can to try. If I join you, I'll do what I can to watch the F-bombs. Uh, hold on. No. So, you, so I can't use the Coke with bacon? No, I don't use that. Is mixed tail offensive? Because, you know, since it's racism week, apparently, you got to have a little mixed tail. <laughs> Get it? No, never mind. How about, how about some hot nut and cider? Nothing better than a little hot nut and cider. That's too bad. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> I'm having a good time, guys. Uh, last week, truth be loaded down with beer and a cold in my life. Hell yeah! One sticker behind my head. Well, anyway, we're going to some country music. We're going to raise hell, F shit up. See, I didn't drop the F-bomb. I just said hell. <laughs> and we're going to 
I kicked the damn lights out. And last you week. Can't kiss my there you go. Red neck and proud, baby. Anyway, last week I had my favorite little Wiccan show up at the well, the little tracks compound. And it's hotter than a monster. Woo! The Wolf Tracks Pond compounds are oh, probably a nice 80 degrees in here. Holy crap! What about you say crap? We'll have to get a list of things the wolf can say or can't say. Uh, but you know me, the wolf can't be fenced in. You ain't putting a leash on this wolf. And I'm going to do what I want to do. Hey, that's why y'all love me. I'm going to do what I want to do. Because all I want to do is have a good time, and I want to get loaded. <laughs> Speaking of getting loaded, like I said last week, oh, Regina showed up, my favorite wicked. A little holler at Regina, by the way. The reason I didn't hang up on you just a minute ago, uh... I uh I lost my phone. My phone died. You're good at killing it. But last week she brought me fireball. Yeah boy. Fireball. Oh we got so just oh, can I say this on the air? Yes I can because it's my show. We got so shitty. <laughs> oh fireball. Oh my god. But anyway, I bought let's see if you can see that. Oh let's see here. In, it's called Cinerator. So we're gonna a little more cinnamon whiskey for me and my uh, wicked buddy there, my Morticia. Let's go, man. Say it high, baby. <laughs> That's good. Oh, whoo, shit. <laughs> Damn! Yeah, I know, right, strong. I think maybe R2 needs a little of this in the circuits. Change his oil out with some incinerator. Woo! Fine! 91 proof. Holy crap! Anyway, we're going to talk about just whatever is going through your brain pan. Uh, we got uh, racism on the mind now. And it's amazing how sensitive everyone's become. I got to look pretty for y'all, you mother. Anyway, oh, by the way, I didn't say the F word. But anyway, what happened to society, to everybody so sensitive? What happened to... What happened to jokes that were remotely offensive and now you can be sued for? What happened to appeasing... What happened to not giving a damn what someone else thought? Because you're a grown ass adult, and now you have to watch who you piss off. How come we have 9 11? Here's one. How come we have 9 11, which is a conspiracy in itself, whether our government did it, whatever. But now we're scared to offend Muslims in our own country. They're taking the word pork, pig, and ham out of books because it might offend the Muslims. Really? And here's one to burn your ass. And this is for my buddy, Sean Campbell. Oh, by the way, Sean, this right here is a complete history of my family. I've got letters. I've got copies. I've got the originals. Letters that my grandfather, great on down, wrote to his grandmother. Here's the Tennessee State Archive, the barrel roll that shows he served. I've got pictures, templates, the old uh, uh, steel, whatever the hell they are. So, yeah, I've got those. And, uh, yeah, that's my family, brother. We fought on the South Side. And I know, I know what everybody's going to say. We fought on the South Side for slavery. No. No, we didn't. No. You dumb, narrow-minded mother... Really? It was over trade. Do you know that? Do you know it was over trade? You know, I had to have this battle several times in public school because... One of my most dreaded subjects in school was history. Uh, not because I hated it, but because I was the only white kid in class. So now let's talk racism, shall we? If we're going to talk racism, let's throw it on the other side. All right? Now, all right, here's the deal. The teacher would look at me, the teacher being black, the students all black because it's public school, and I'm the only white face in the class, that topic would be slavery. What would the teacher do? Turn right to me. So, Bobby, did your family own slaves? First year, I said yes, and I proceeded to get the crap beat out of me 
after that class by about five guys. That was a lot of fun. Matter of fact, in public school, I think they earned credits at kicking the old wolf's ass. Can I say ass? I don't know if I can say ass. Uh, I learned. I, I learned my lesson. I did a little research. You know, I took notes. I listened. I paid attention. Opened my eyes and my mind a little bit. Here's something for all you would be offended by this flag. They're racist! All right, here we go. Now, so white people own slaves. Egyptians owned slaves. They were Jews. Interesting. Do you know where slavery come from in the United States? Think about it. Because at any given point in this planet's history, someone has been conquered and made to work for the winner. Now, let's think about that for a second. Conquered and made to work for the winner. Explorers or, or trade merchants went to Africa. Oh my God, he said Africa. Went to Africa for trade. Well, conquering African tribes that conquered other African tribes sold the losers as slaves. What? Oh. Now, white people aren't racist. We just bought a workforce. Your people sold your own people for money and goods. So now, who's the bigger racist here? The African Americans that sold their own people for money? Or the other white people, the trade merchants, who bought them as a commodity? Do you know black people fought on the South Side? Really? Yeah. There was entire regiments, black soldiers, that fought on the South Side. So now that it's all about slavery. That's what the war was about, was slavery. No. It's about trade. People need to do some research. And I'm sorry, Sean, Shannon, whatever that, your name is, I'm sorry you have renounced your white card and are not proud to be white, but, uh, brother, we're becoming few and far between. And uh, it's not popular to be white anymore. There's a lot of reverse racism, and I'll give you an example. Since you doubt the wolf, watch the news. Anytime they show a congressman, senator, mayor, governor, anything of a state, a southern state, that has that flag in it, the stars are upside down. If you notice, it's pointing. The star points straight up. That is a Confederate flag, not upside down. The state flag of Mississippi, the star points straight up. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? But you know what? You won't see that behind them. Why? Reverse racism. Reverse racism. Now, we can go on and on about this all you want to. But I'm going to believe what I want to believe. You believe what you want to believe. And I tell you what, I find a lot of things offensive. Do I go whining to a lawyer? Do I go, <laughs> it's offensive, it's offensive, <laughs> it's no offensive. And then I go sue somebody? No. I do my thing. I keep going. And I realize that person's probably narrow-minded and doesn't know what the they're talking about. So, there's always that. Is this still work? Yes, it does. Alrighty then. R2's all happy about it. We had a little uh, malfunction here on uh, the old Wolf Tracks uh, show. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Imagine that shit. Everything smells like fireball now. Ha <laughs> ha! Or cinerator. Because, you know, the wolf doesn't like to do what everybody else does. Ooh! And since we're talking rednecks, let's drink it out of a shotgun shell, shall we? Ah ha! Here's mud in your eye. Whoa! Shit! Hang on! Ah. Woo! Damn! Yeah, spilt a little bit of alcohol abuse! Anyway, we're also going to talk about bullying. And that's one thing I'm tired of seeing on fucking Facebook. All these parents crying about bullying. Oh my god. You know when I had a bully in school? 
when I got into public school, I was in a private school. Yep. Did the whole all white school thing. And then I went to public school. Boy, that was a cultural shock for the wolf. Matter of fact, that's where Bobby the Wolf Mullins got his name and his jacket. It was public school. And I don't miss it. I mean, I miss it. I, I, that was probably the best time of my life. I uh, I met my best friend there, Chuck Coleman, Metal Wolf. I reunited with another best friend of mine, uh, Demon Wolf, Al Dixon. So, I mean, it's... Uh, It's good times, good memories. But I had a bully in that school. His name was Reginald Ingram. I'll call him out. He's dead now. OD'd in college, apparently. Yeah, I found out through some friends. He OD'd in... Let me show you my pretty eyes so I can see here. I gotta get some music up. Oh, good lord. Hotter than a some bitch in here. Anyway, let's see here. What are we doing? All right, let's see. But anyway, my bully was named Reginald Ingram. Now, Reginald was a black guy, but I was the proverbial was the proverbial little rich white kid that came to public school. Isn't that awesome? Um, so he proceeded to let me know that I was not welcome. Yeah, he proceeded to let me know I was not welcome at all. And beat the sh out of me every day. All right? Let me see here. Let me get something so I can get some music on. I know I'm old. i got to put my eyes on so I can see. Oh, another burp's like Cinderator and beer. Oh. Oh. All right. See if this works. No, nah, well, I don't know what the hell it is, but it's something. This is some music. I don't know what the hell it is. I don't care. Come on, play. Damn. Well, I guess that ain't going to play. But anyway, Reginald proceeded to beat the shit out of me every day. Behind the old gym at a junior high. Now, did I cry and whine and bitch and complain and Go running to my parents. There's a bully in school. I don't know what to do. Blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. I didn't. No, I um. Uh, excuse me, little uh, my girl in my face. <laughs> but anyway, no. Um, I proceeded to win. I equalized the field out. No, I didn't take a gun to school. You bunch of punks. I didn't take a damn gun to school. But I did eager level the playing field. I got tired of getting beat up. So what old Bobby the Wolf Mullins do? He, uh, well, I decided to kick the shit out of this bully. And I did. I took a piece of a, you know the desk had those little pipes or bars in the back? Yeah, I, I, I beat the shit out of him with one of those. I uh, leaned back in the desk, kept rocking it back and forth till it broke loose, yeah. and I put it in my jacket. Now, for all you moms out there, dads that have children being bullied, here's a neat little thing about a bully. Bullies do not like resistance at all. They don't like resistance. They don't like. Picture it as a predator in the wild. If it's too much of a challenge, they waste too much energy on it, and they might not get it. So if you put up one hell of a fight, the bully ends up leaving you alone. Now, that being said, that being said, uh, Reginald received the uh, blunt end of a piece of steel right across the forehead. For all you parents out there, teach your children to hit the bully in the head with a brick. Yeah. Do that. Now, I know there's zero tolerance in schools. No fighting. No gang-related blah, 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 blah. Whee! I'm going to get sued. Who cares? Without students, they have no school. 
That's the deal. Without students, they have no school. Enough of the students stand up to these bullies and cave their fucking skull in with a brick or a bat or a piece of pipe like I did. And they get suspended. So what? So they get suspended. No more bullying. Enough of y'all get suspended. They're going to have to lift that little zero tolerance. World. Yeah. Think about it. It's like protesting almost. Enough of students do it. And that'll change. You won't have that bully issue no more. Your child will not get bullied. I beat Reginald with that pipe. I hit him once in the forehead. He went right down. Yeah. He's laying on the ground bleeding out of his forehead. And I told him he'll never, ever touch me again. And I hit him two more times right in the head and left him unconscious. The coach asked where he's at. I said, I think he's sleeping behind the old gym. I didn't give a sh if I got suspended or not. Guess who never bothered me anymore? Good old Reggie never bothered old Bobby no more. He didn't want no more of that pipe. You didn't have to take a gun to school. You crack that forehead hard enough, bully leave you right the hell alone. Hit him in the head with a brick. My son had a bully. Teacher was like, well, I don't know. Maybe they need to talk it out and blah, blah, blah. The counselor. Yeah, the counselor. My son at the time was 6'2 at 14. I said, all right, I'll tell you what. I said, you see that shadow over your desk? That's caused by a 14-year-old at 6'2". I said, son, pick that desk up and put it over your head. He picked it up, put it over his head. I looked right at the counselor and said, there you go. She goes, what's that proof? I looked right at my son. I said, you're not allowed to fight in school, are you? He said, no. While he's holding the desk, a full desk over his head. He goes, no, sir, daddy, I'm not allowed to fight in school. I looked right at that counselor and I said, the only reason he's not allowed to fight is because I say so. I turned right back at him. I said, if that boy touches you tomorrow or any other day, you take a desk and you beat him into a puddle of goo. Don't stop hitting him until he stops moving. Fear over the counselor's face. You know what this counselor decided to do? Now, since I put it in terms she would understand, because apparently she's so PC she wouldn't understand, oh, I gotta do this this way and blah, blah, blah. She decided to move the bully out of the class. Shocker. The threat of violence fixed the problem. Teach your children how to fight. And hit them in the head with an object, not their hand, because their hand will break. You know, history books are really thick. You smack a guy in the head a couple of times with a history book, especially the spine of it, he stops moving. And that's not racism. That's defending yourself. I don't care if he's purple, green. I don't give a fuck if he's Spanish, black, white, Chinese, Muslim, whatever. Bully's a bully. Beat him until he stops moving. That's not racist. That's defending yourself. And you are allowed. You're in America. You're in the USA. You are allowed freedom of speech. And freedom is to pursue happiness. And, guess what? I don't give a shit what our president says. You're allowed to defend yourself. Remember the Men in Black episode I did? Uh-huh, yeah. Step your ass on my property and threaten my family in your little black suits and your little sunglasses. And, well, you need to blah, blah, blah because you've got to be a, a respectable citizen and we'll hurt your children and... I will put a bullet in your forehead. Yeah. Come at me, men in black. I've already showed you the picture of the UFO I've sent to MUFON. Come at me. As much as the government has just bent everybody over in this country, you think we're going to be loyal to this government? Are you insane? This government promotes racism. I hope you understand that. This government is scared of us. If, think about this, as long as they keep white and black divided. Now, I'm not even talking Hispanic, Muslim, Chinese, Japanese, whatever. Just white and black. Think about the population for a second. Think how many people live in this country. Think about it. 
Think how many people own guns. Okay, add those two together. Rough number. A couple of billion, million, whatever. Who cares? But as long as the government keeps us racially divided with people like Reverend Al Sharpton or Louis Farrakhan or the KKK or whatever, these hate groups, as long as the government keeps us divided, black and white will not join together. But that's what the government's scared of because if black and white wake up, open your eyes for God's sakes, if black and white open their eyes and realize the government is keeping us at odds with each other, promoting racism because there's money in it and because there's safety in it. The government is safe as long as the two major races, the largest population in this country, the two major races are at war with one another and do not like each other because the government drives a wedge between the two. As long as that keeps going, the government's safe. But if black... African-American, white, Anglo-Saxon, unite. There ain't jack shit this government can do to stop us. Think about that. Stop with all the petty bullshit, okay? Stop with all the, well, he's waving a rebel flag and blah, blah, blah. You got your pants or down. You got your pants down. But he's, he's, he's doing the rebel flag thing, and that's offensive to my people. Well, you know what? Louis Farrakhan's fucking offensive to me. So is Reverend Jesse Jackson and Reverend Al Sharpton, who, by the way, are on the government payroll. Okay? I hope you understand this. They are on the government payroll to promote racism and drive a wedge between the two races. Not Hispanic, not Chinese, not Muslim, black and white. Their job. They're paid to drive a wedge between those two races because the government's safe as long as those two races do not unite. Think about it. That's what this show's about. I want you to think. I put that rebel, I put that rebel flag up to get y'all's attention. Yeah, my family fought on the south side. Yes, my family owned slaves. They bought them off some sort of market. I don't know. Did I own slaves? No. Have I ever owned a slave? No. I had a wife once, <laughs> if that counts. <laughs> Does that count as a slave? No, it doesn't. No human should own another human. And that is your basic freedom. No human should own another human. Remember, do unto others as you want them to do unto you. I've had people judge me because I'm white. I know what it's like for a black person to be judged because of their skin color. I've been judged because I'm white. So don't think white people don't know what racism is. And I'm so sick of because we're white, we're racist. As soon as we're born, when we're white, racist. Really? Okay, well, why is it that you can have an Asian holiday? You know, an Asian racial celebration. You can celebrate being Asian. You can celebrate being Muslim. You can celebrate being black, Black History Month. How come you can celebrate being Chinese or German or, or African American or whatever, but you celebrate being white? Racist! Why is that? Why? White people have been beat down so much. In general, white people are scared of other races. I'm not. I don't give a shit. I'm going to drink. All I want to do is have a good time and get loaded. That's all I want to do. I don't give a shit what you think about me. There you go. Little senator. And uh, uh, I forget everything. There you go. I just don't get it. I don't get it. We all bleed red. Why in the hell would you hate each other? I've had... Asian, black, what else? Oh, a Filipino. Um, haven't had a Muslim yet, but I'm kind of like the UN of sex. So there you go. And you know what? There's nothing different in it at all. It's all the same. 
bunch of moaning and groaning and done deal. So why in the hell would you hate one another? Because your color? There's a lot of colors in a crayon box. I don't hate them. I mean, I used every damn color in a crayon box when I was little. Shit, I still do. Kids got a project, I'll color everything with every color in the damn book in, in the little box. But yet I'm labeled a racist because I'm white, Anglo-Saxon. Born that way. Born racist. Uh, my family fought for that flag. My family lost friends dying for that flag. They uh they're gonna take the flag off the general lead. And that right there is for that Sean Campbell guy. I don't care what you think. That's wrong. That was a great TV show. People loved it. It's iconic. And because a few people got their got butt hurt over it, now they're going to remove the flag off of the General Lee. One of the most iconic television and or movie cars, vehicles, no. Well, if that's the case, I want the Knight Rider car to be white because it being black offends me. It doesn't really, but that's the kind of stupid shit. I want the Knight Rider car to be white because I'm apparently racist because I'm white. And a black car offends me. Think about this. Think about this. He who wins the war rewrites history. So history is being rewrote right now. I don't know. You're right. I don't know. I'm just a drunk talking shit, right? Okay. Pegasus and the new Clash of the Titans. Which that movie wasn't worth the ticket to buy. But anyway. Pegasus was the last of his breed. A flying horse. And it was a white stallion. To be PC and to appease the masses, whatever you want to call it, they decided to make Pegasus the only black stallion in a group of white mares. Really? Then we go to Daredevil. This comic book been around since the 60s, 50s, whatever. The big villain for Daredevil is a guy named Kingpin, a big fat white man. what they do? They change it to a black man. Now let's go to Fantastic Four. And there's two references there. Fantastic Four, first movie. Thing is in love with a girl. This girl is black. To appease the masses, it's the Puppet Master's daughter. Guess what color the Puppet Master is? The Puppet Master's fucking white. How in the hell did he have a black daughter? Now... Let's go to the new movie, which I will not see because it's retarded. You have Mr. Fantastic, Reed Richards, Sue Storm, Johnny Storm, and Ben Grimm. What? The thing. Now, the lineup is a white Reed Richards, a white Sue Storm, a white thing, and a black Johnny Storm. Well, Sue Storm is Johnny Storm's sister. But because they want to be PC and appease the masses, they've made Johnny black, as well as Johnny's dad. So apparently, you can have a white child with black parents. No, that's not possible. According to genetics, white or blue eyes or blonde hair or whatever is a recessive gene. Oh my God, Bobby the Wolf Moments knows what he's talking about. And brown or black is a dominant gene. So it's impossible to have, with black parents, a white, blonde, blue-eyed child. But to be PC and appease the masses, they made Johnny Storm black. Now, they're going even further with Spider-Man. Another Marvel is beautiful. They're, they're, they're so worried. Oh, we might hurt everybody's feelings. Oh, no. We're going to hurt their feelings. So they're making Spider-Man black. You know what I'm waiting for? Believe it or not, I'm waiting for a new X-Men movie. And I want it to be all Muslim. 
I want her to be ISIS. Just a bunch of ISIS mutants that are labeled X-Men. That way we appease the Muslims. That way no one's pissed off. Because God knows the uh, the the X-Men are white. Oh my God, and Canadian. God Almighty, those are the biggest haters on the planet. White and Cana Canadian. Canadian. <laughs> the word of the day is Canadian. So, I've ranted about as long as I need to, I guess. I'm enjoying me some Cinerator. Oh. And this show is independent. Yeah. It's independent. There is no sponsor. I lost the GTN logo. I know. Bunch of assholes. I know. So, the old boss and whatever got his butt hurt over shit I said. That's what I think about it. You want to come to me? Come on. Come on, brother. You turned your jacket in. You don't count no more to me. Don't care. I've got your jacket hanging in my bedroom where I see it every day. Yeah. Burns my ass. But anyway, I guess next week we'll get back to paranormal. Talk about, uh, I don't know, monoliths on the moons or aliens or chupacabra. I don't know. We'll do something. Maybe the computer will work then and I'll get some music going. But anyway, I am going to keep this up because uh, I'm proud of it. My family fought for it. We lost, but they fought for it. My family killed other men for that. Over trade, not slavery. Think about that for a second. All you haters out there, I'm so offended by that. Because it represents slavery. No. You should be offended by the African flag because it actually represents slavery. Because warring tribes sold the losers to white men who needed a workforce. So this flag doesn't represent slavery. The African flag does. But I gave my disclaimer. That's my opinion. And I'm just a drunk, so, you know, you don't like it. Two words. Suck it! Bitches. <laughs> Can I say bitches? I don't know. Anyway, y'all take it easy or sleazy and don't get any on you unless you like it that way. Holler at your boy, I guess. Let me give my disclaimer, my closer. Uh, pay attention. Now look, I ain't done a show in a while, so give me a break. Uh, pay attention to what walks by, crawls by, flies by, and or slithers by. And if you get a picture of it, send it to Bobby the Wolf Mullins at one white wolf zero seven zero six at att.net. And remember, as always, guys, as always, holler at your boy, because I'll be hammered to sh and back, tore up from the floor up, white boy wasted. Ha <laughs> ha!